Hi, this is Fred, FR5ED, the five is silent. Uh, I'm here with, I'm going to call this another special review. Uh, tonight, uh, I'm going to review Southern Tier Unearthly Imperial IPA or Double IPA. Uh, I've heard a lot of good things about this. This will be the first time I'm tasting this. Um, the bottle's quite interesting because it's loaded with information. It's 9.5 ABV, by the way. Uh, it's rated an A- minus on BeerAdvocate.com, and that's after 1,024 reviews. And on RateBeer.com, it's a 99, and that's out of uh, after 1,164 reviews. So um, anyway, so it's got some good press going on. But looking at the bottle, it actually goes into the fact that uh, two-row pale malts, carapils, malts, red wheat were all used. Uh, kettle hops were Chinook and Cascade. Uh, the hop back was uh, Styrian Golding. And then the dry hopping was done with Cascade, Centennial, and Chinook hops. So uh, that's kind of the, the hop bill and the malt bill right there. Uh, and it says best served at 42 degrees Fahrenheit in a uh, goblet type of glass. Um, so I have my special, it's a Chimay glass, it's a goblet, it's, you know, for... Uh, Belgian ales and double IPAs, so that's what I'm using for this. So I've got got some high hopes for this. All right, here we go. And I don't have any other, uh, uh, you know, inclinations or inside information, you know, on other people's reviews or anything. So I've just, I've just, I keep hearing it's good without hearing any specifics. So here we go. Nice orange color, kind of a medium amber. All right, again, I didn't pour it very vigorously, and it only developed about a half a finger of head there. And the glass is a little frosty, but still it's fairly clear, a little bit cloudy, a little bit cloudy. So could be it's a little bit unfiltered, um, which I like. <clears throat> so let's give it a smell. Pine, definitely pine. That mixture of pine and orange. A little bit of pineapple in the background. Oh, my mouth's watering. <laughs> it, it's not bursting out at me. I don't know. You know, I didn't get a, a real solid head formed there. So I don't know if I can swish this enough to, enough to develop any further head. Probably not. But it's a familiar combination and a pretty uh, familiar uh, ratio of the pine and the citrus. A little bit of pineapple. Let's taste it. Wow. <laughs> Again, the aroma was pretty IPA-ish. The taste is just a body slam of flavor. Uh, you know, very double Imperial IPA-ish. And again, the double, the Imperial IPAs just have more of all that good stuff that makes an IPA. So it's not surprising that it would uh, come forward with all those great flavors. Let me <clears throat> get over that... Uh, Initial mouth shock and try this again. Wow. Okay. Can taste the malt there. I'm trying to pick this part, segment the taste. Definitely the malt has more presence than in a typical IPA. Mmm. Oh, there's so much going on there. The bitterness is definitely there. Uh, although it's not an objectionable or over-the-top bitterness, but it is definitely there. The thing is, if that much bitterness were in a regular IPA without the malt to offset it, it might uh, it might be a little bit over the top. But this is a blend of a robust malt presence with a robust bitter hop presence and aroma. And the hop flavor is in there. <clears throat> You know, a mixture of hop flavors, citrus and and pine. Wow. It's not overly sweet. Sometimes with a, an Imperial IPA or a, a double IPA, uh, which is pretty much the same thing, um, like Stout's Imperial IPA uh, has a, a, a real caramelly sweetness to it. It's like a, a Belgian ale uh, with lots of hops. Um, this is drier. This is definitely drier. There's... 
little edge of more sweetness than in a typical IPA, uh, but it's still, I would consider this a dry double IPA. The, the malt is still there and flavor-wise to balance out the uh, bitterness and the flavor of the hops, but it's not a, a sweetness that's balancing it out. Excuse me. One more taste and we'll wrap this up. Mm. That is very pleasant. Um, sometimes in a double, I, I like a little extra sweetness because it helps separate it out from a typical IPA. This is very good. Very, very good. I like the Southern Tier IPA. I like the 2X IPA from Southern Tier. And now I like Unearthly. I'm pretty, pretty much sold on Southern Tier with the three IPA offerings I've had so far. On a five-star scale... <clears throat> I'd say 3.75 to 4. You know, thinking in terms of double IPAs I've had, um, I wouldn't say it's the best one I've had, although I really like it. It's very drinkable. Um, 3.75 stars, bordering on 4. Yeah, we'll go with that. Might even push it to 4. Anyway, it's a great one. I definitely recommend trying it. Uh, give all the Southern Tier IPAs a try. Uh, because I know uh, there's a good chance you'll like it, because a lot of people do. Anyway, this is Fred, FR5ED, 5 is silent, over and out.